now move to personnel action related to the county manager. This has been brought forth by a request from the public wishing to speak. So at this time, Melody Everett can come forward.
whether or not if the county doesn't take emergency action, say in the case of a, uh, a flood, that there's going to be substantial damage to, to county property that could be avoided, uh, that, that you, you could call a county meeting in, in those type of situations. Uh, so I certainly don't see how anything involved in this would fall into that. Yeah, and, and I actually took the opportunity to talk to some open meetings compliance people with the Association of Counties and they agree with So if we can't discuss this in an emergency meeting, we are advised not to discuss this in a special meeting. Now we're in a regular county commission meeting and your advice to us is we shouldn't discuss it now. So are you saying that we need to just, what, what are our options? I, I don't think you're hearing so let me try to be clear. What I'm advising you is if, if you are taking limited personnel actions, which is the way this was posted on your agenda, uh, then you need to at least offer that individual employee the opportunity to have it done in closed session. As you know from, from the same issue that arose in May, the employee has the opportunity to have it done in a session. Uh, if, if this is just a situation where uh, you're just getting a report from a citizen, uh, I think the agenda didn't reflect that, but I certainly think you can go forward with that. Madam Chair, if I may? Yes, please. Uh, I, I'm not much on, you know, listening actually to uh, whether we can or whether we can't, I, I would like to make a motion that, uh, as you advised, as attorney uh, legal advised us back in our meeting prior to this, that I would just like to turn this over to the attorney general's office. Uh, I believe that we would receive an unbiased uh, report. I'm not saying that you're biased, Ms. Everett. I'm just saying that, you know, at this point, with the allegations that have been made, I would rather turn it over to the Attorney General's office and uh, let the cards fall where they may. As, as, you, as, you, as you stated, Commissioner Freiberger, that was my advice to you back in December when this first came up. My great concern here is that things were discussed in a closed session at that point in time, and then immediately after that closed session, we get a very pointed, temporary request uh, from an attorney, Ms. Everett. That, that clearly reflects. You're, you're crossing the line now. You're uh, crossing the line. Let, let me interrupt. Uh, um, that, that clearly reflects that, that at least information uh, that was discussed in that closed session oh, no. was being pointed that out. For, request so was that's my concern. The and I agree the with you. Excuse me, Ms. Everett, I'm speaking. Uh, it's my, I agree. Uh, and believe that at this point in time that the county needs to have either the Attorney General's office or the State Auditor's office conduct an investigation. That was my advice in December. That's my advice today. And actually that is my advice as well. Um, I'm trying to give you a reason to actually go forward with that. I guess my, I'm still my question is, if there is a constituent that has a problem with one of our county employees, is this the process? I don't are think we, it's for an employee. I think it's the job, the specific job that the procedures. Well, let's, let's not have everybody just speak um, openly from the audience so that we maintain order. Um, so now we're at a point to where, George, you have your hand up, but really, I mean, this is was a request from... Uh, Melody and so Commissioner Freiberger is requesting that we go just immediately to the Attorney General. Um, well, I'm going to speak out of turn because a lot of people would like to hear what Mrs. Everett has to say so that it is a matter of record and so that it's not taken behind closed doors so that people can have a full understanding of what's going on. There's been a lot said that's floated around the community and you know, come on, let the sunshine in here, please. That's all we're asking as a public. We want some sunshine in this building, please. 
if, if, it, if it goes back to an issue of a personnel matter, you, you folks have already adjusted the agenda after you accepted it once. If this, this isn't part of what you're considering a personnel action, then please consider relocating the personnel matter down to executive session and let Mrs. Everett be heard, please. Well, I, you know, Commissioner Dompey, I don't know if she is the proper, if, if there's a proper procedure for this, um, for somebody to, if somebody is, I have always told my constituents if they wanted to be heard to come to a commission meeting um, or to get on the agenda. I understand that you are personally attacking what one person has done, and to me, that is unacceptable because I, for one, I'm going to treat somebody else how I want to be treated. And so therefore, to come to a public meeting like this and behave like this is very unacceptable to me because there are a proper way to do things. If you have a problem, and I am one, but please, if you have a problem with me or how I do things, come to me. If you have a problem, go to our county manager. And if you can't get an answer or you feel like she's not doing it, then you, did you do that? And that's all I'm saying. There's a proper way to handle situations. And for me, if somebody has an issue with me, out of respect for everybody in this county, go to the person, say what you gotta say. See if you can't make amends. Because you know what? What happens here in this room affects everybody who works in this building, and it's not fair. It's not right, and it's unacceptable. It's not a personal attack, no. and it is not. It has nothing to do with her specifically. It has. Then why is it under county manager? You people set the agenda. We don't. Because that was what the request was to our deputy manager. I requested to be on the agenda. I didn't word it. Well, then there's miscommunication because that wasn't what I understood either. And I have, I have a problem with having text messages come into me that if this was your passion, Ms. Everett, you should have given a phone call to me, not a text message. Okay, sorry, I was trying to contact all three of you at the same time so that everybody was on the same page. I'm just saying, if this is your passion and, and something is wrong and it's illegal, then make a phone call. And that's all I'm saying is when we have problems with people, please, because you know what, this is, a lot of people are sitting here because they want to know what's going on. And there's an investigation that was given, we were already given that direction to go, was to have an investigation. So to have this come out a week later. Did you start an investigation? It was the direction. I'm sorry, I was not here at last last meeting, and maybe it would have happened a little sooner if I would have been here. I was on vacation, but that was the direction that we had had from Mr. Wallen nice. at the last meeting. Well, I need to do this on my own. As I've said, it apparently this is very. Uh, I mean, it's there, there's all kinds of sides to this. I still would like to make the motion that we turn this over to the Attorney General's office and let them do a thorough investigation of this and let the cards fall where they may. May I ask, uh, Mr. Commissioner, would you amend that to say the Attorney General's office and or the State Auditor's office? So, so amended. I just believe that this we is can't something... We can hear the motion, though, please. Uh, 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 Mr. Wallen, we, we just are not able to hear I'm sorry, and I don't know if you picked uh, it up. I'll amend it. I would like to make the motion that we turn this over to the Attorney General's office or the State Auditor's office to where they can come in and do an investigation and, you know, for lack of better words, let the cards fall where they may. I believe somebody needs to come in independent and do this. You can see the emotions that are demonstrated just in this short, brief period of time. We just want to see how our tax dollars are working. Excuse me? We just want to see how our tax dollars are being used. And I'm sure the Attorney General's office will show you. Good. We had this issue before, okay? It's not personal, okay? It's with 
Mr. Marcos, let's maintain order. We have a motion on the table, so is there a second? It's been moved and seconded that we um, ask for an investigation from the state auditor's office and the state attorney general's office. And um, so all those in favor say aye. Aye. I do want um, the state auditor's office and the state attorney general's office to investigate this matter, but I do would like, I would like to make it a, um, a point of public record that I feel if there's something that needs to be discussed, I mean, still everyone's going to walk away and still not know why they came today or what Ms. Everett had to say. So if it's not going to be allowed by my fellow commissioners to ask questions of Malady, I mean, you certainly are able to ask her privately, I guess, if you want to. Um, but I, I feel like this is an open meeting and if there's a question of something, we can go talk about it in an executive session and come out or we can... Um, you know, address the issue. I mean, it's a hard issue to look at anytime you have to look at anything, but why just walk away from it and say, I want somebody else to do it? If we have to do something, we should do it. May I ask a question? Absolutely. This has obviously been directed at me. Yes. There's, I, I know nothing about this. I know I got an IPRA request, and then I know that I got a text message from a member of the public that the commission was trying to hold an emergency meeting to take action against me based on something that was found. So I did email the commission earlier in the week and ask them, I noticed that you guys are taking action against me on Wednesday. Is there anything I need to be prepared for? I did, Commissioner Freiberger, thank you for responding to me and telling me that this has to do with a public records request submitted by Ms. Everett. I have nothing to hide. I've told the commission time and time again, everything that I do in my office is public record if it's not personnel. Anybody wants to come ask me a question, my door is never closed unless I'm in a personnel meeting. I'd be happy to answer any questions because I have nothing to hide. I have told you that time and time again. So if you guys are trying to backdoor me and fire me because she thinks she found illegal and criminal acts or something my office has done, that's absolutely absurd and I resent it very much because I have done nothing but work my butt off 24 hours a day for this county. Okay, so can I ask you the questions now? If Mr. Wallen thinks it's appropriate, <coughs> he's my attorney. You, you are he's your attorney? You want to question Ms. Anslick? Well, I don't know how else to, to figure out what's going on here. I don't know how else to get any answers. You could have sent me an email? You could, have, you could have called me, you could have mailed me a list of questions instead of trying to have a circus and trying to embarrass me publicly. I have nothing to hide. I, I well, this has nothing to do with you. This has to do with some contracts that were written between the county and one particular contractor. And why did you pick one particular contractor, may I ask? Sure, if you want to, because of an altercation in the parking lot. Okay, so it is about me personally, well, right? That's what made me look into it, yes. Okay. To see if there was any wrongdoing with this particular contractor. In my opinion, there is. Okay, so Madam Chair, I can say that it's okay for the member of the public to request you take personnel action against me because she's heard things in the parking lot. What needs to happen at this point is there, I think we need to have a discussion with Annette our deputy county manager and our attorney and our commissioners because that was not the intention. So there was a request Dennis made of how this needed to be put on the agenda properly and legally. If you did not feel like, you know, I just don't feel like you really handled it as you should have as our attorney and I'm disappointed, but you know, I'm gonna to continue to stand my ground on where I'm at. If we have two motions on the table, I will now call for a vote. All those in favor that we launch an investigation, ask the state attorney general and the state auditor to investigate matters in the county manager's office. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Okay, motion passes. Okay, so Madam we're going to do that. Yes. I emailed you last week asking you to please contact me. Uh, we did not do so. So I, in fact, I tried to call you first left a voicemail with you, and I emailed all three commissioners. I said, would someone like to visit with me about what's going on? And 
Ms. Uh, Ortiz contacted me, said it's my understanding that, that they want a hearing on personnel action. That's all I know about. You never gave me the courtesy, Madam Chairman, of one time returning a call or an email. If Annette asked you how it needed to be put on the agenda, wouldn't you give her that information? I we never heard one word about Ms. Ever. I heard about a personnel action. I said you put it on, you make it specific about the individual. And as we have done for the last 10 years or so, that's been put under the closed session agenda. Okay, now would you say that that's true, what you just said? What I would say is I was specifically instructed not to tell Joy or Dennis about your request. And when he called asking what was going on the agenda, I asked how you wanted me to post it on the agenda, and he stated, however we did it in May, see if that would be appropriate. So you never had a discussion with Dennis about Melody Everett's request? I did not. Okay. We knew about it from another source. And in fact, the statement that was made to me, Madam Chairman, is that you wanted to have the meeting without me being present or Ms. Ames being present. Yes, I, I did say that because, Dennis, I really don't feel like you can be trusted when it comes to Joy because you always just constantly kind of side with her. Again, we're unreal, I'm railroaded again. I just want the public to have the information. In six months from now, I may look bad right now, like I'm picking on her, but when the public finds out where the tax dollars have been spent, then I can continue to stand with my head held high because our tax dollars belong to the people and how they are spent is the business of the people. And yes. so today, if I'm not going to apologize, I shouldn't have apologized in May and I'm not apologizing today. So the information will come out in due time and in the meantime, if I look like the bad guy, I will take that title. We will now move on to the next item of business on the agenda.